Hey everybody, Mr. A here to talk to you about how to create with Canva. Canva is located at www.canva.com. It is a web-based digital design tool that you can use to create presentations, images, infographics, business cards, posters, all sorts of stuff. They have beautiful layouts and templates that look very professional. And I encourage students not only to use them, but also to look at them for design elements. Like how do they use space? How do they use color? How do they use layout? And in, actually, I encourage my kids often to push themselves by starting with a blank page and just replicating those design elements. Everything that you need on the website is in fact free, although I'll teach you a way to avoid having to pay for anything as well. Here are some of the things that I've made using Canva. I've made posters, digital images, banners, um, all sorts of things, logos that we've used throughout our school community as well as um, my, my profession on the side. And students have also made plenty of really wonderful things here. Digital images, for example, they've made logos, they've made infographics, and they've made presentations. Today what I want to do is I want to spotlight five different things about Canva. The first is about signing up and in with Google. We have a, lots of passwords and things to remember. The good news is that when you sign up for Canva, you can use your Google login, and then from that point on, continue to use that to be able to get access to all of your designs. It is web-based and saves automatically. So I've uh, spotlighted the part here as you put images and add design elements, text, alt colors, all sorts of things. You'll see that periodically it'll say all changes saved. That's every few seconds. So students will not lose or you will not lose your work so long as you wait until you see that all changes saved, which again pops up every few seconds or so. The third thing I want to point out about Canva is that you can share and you can collaborate, but not in real time. See, Google tends to spoil us because we think when we can share things with one another, that means we can automatically, simultaneously, synchronously work in a given space. The good news is that in Canva, you can share, so you can um, give people edit or view permission. You can invite them via email or via link, and they can work on the same project as you. They just can't be at the same time. So if one student was working on it in class, and then let's say that evening another student was working collaboratively on that project with that student, they could work on it, they just couldn't work it on it at the same exact time. The fourth thing I wanted to stress with Canva is to avoid the crown or pro features. The pro or crown features are, you guessed it, you have to pay for them. So they're clearly marked, however, within this suite of Canva. So if you see the little crown, it says pro, or if you bring it over into your work and it says remove watermark, that means that in order to download your work and save it to your drive or wherever you want to put it, you're going to have to pay. Now the good news is, Another feature of Canva enables you to kind of work around that, and that is, number five, you have the ability to upload images to Canva for free. So if you have an image that you've saved, you go online that you find that you're allowed to use, you can then just upload it and then insert it into your project. Really, really simple. You just go to Uploads and then find where it is. In this case, it's coming from my desktop. Choose whatever image or images you want to bring up. Open, and then you can insert it into your project. So you can upload and bring things that are not already in the suite of Canva into Canva itself. What I would recommend you do next is to hand to Canva, sign up with your Google account or sign up if you've never been there before, and just have fun. Start a design, play around, they have plenty of, again, of templates or ideas, and see what sort of creativity not only you can do, but what you can challenge your students to make using Canva. For information about Canva and other tools, head to itsmistray.com. And for Create with Canva, I'm Mr. A.